So I'm Mr. Craner. I teach computer science and information technology here at Farmington High School. I also run our eSports club, which has two sections, Super Smash Brothers and League of Legends. Today our Smash Club is hosting a Farmington Invitational, so we have schools from all over the district that are here competing. So eSports is a, it's a growing thing that's, that's actually been around for a little bit. What it is, is you take a game that is a competitive game and find um, aspects of it that are fun for a spectator event. So just like when you go to a, a game for football or basketball, um, eSports is uh, playing uh, competitive games. And this one here, Super Smash Brothers, is definitely one of those. Most players start by just learning the, the core mechanics of it. And eventually they start to evolve as a player. They start to create a zen mode of playing. Game designers call it flow, where eventually you're no longer thinking about each of the, the actions that you're performing, it just comes naturally. Just like in any sport, like in baseball or football, the athletes are training themselves to get that little edge above their uh, competitors. Gamer tags are kind of interesting. It's almost like uh, somebody establishes what their jersey is. That is their identity in this event. I go by Puppy. I do, I don't, I don't know, it's just a nice friendly name. And I love Smash Bros, that's my game. I get into it and I play. It kind of teaches a lot of memory skills and kind of timing and techniques and I love this club. So I am Carson, I'm the Vice President of Leighton High's Esports Club. While we're very competitive with our games, we also like, like to have fun because we don't want to take the fun out of it because that's what makes like sports and games like this, that's what people won't like to do. They, they find fun in it, they find joy. It just gets you to know more people and improve yourself. Today I've done pretty good. Um, I feel like I could have done a lot better because not only have I been practicing for a year and a half now, but I've tried a lot of sports like basketball and volleyball and I want to do sports. I just am too afraid and just not good at sports. So when I found out about the Smash Bros Club at school, I thought this is a chance for me to try a sport that's something I can legitimately enjoy. So just like any other sports that um, high schools participate in, eSports also has huge crowds and huge prize money as well. There is a specific game that I play called Dota 2. The prize pool last year was 30 million. I'm Ethan, I'm from Bountiful High, and I'm currently ranked number seven in the state of Utah for uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. There's like weekly tournaments, there's also like regional tournaments, and then there's national tournaments that players from all around the world fly out to. And how well you do at those tournaments goes into a ranking system. There's two companies, Revenant Esports and Game Tyrant Esports, and I'm actually a player for them. So like I have a jersey and everything, I like go to national tournaments around the country and like compete for them. It's a pretty big thing at this point. So the thing I love the most about eSports is that it's an opportunity for multiple people to come together and share something that they're passionate about. Uh, any sport out there is basically that. Somebody comes together and they watch a team compete. And a lot of us tend to appreciate what has been put into the, the kind of uh, feats that are accomplished by these people. And in games, it's, it's no different. There are colleges that have actual official sponsored teams that compete like this. And just like a football team can come to a high school and recruit, it's something that they'd like to establish. So we're getting into contact with some of these representatives to see what skill level they're looking for so that we can drive our students to prepare themselves for that potential opportunity.